Welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. In the last part, we did a ton of stuff in this town. And this person just talked about that there's some scary Pokemon out there, so she's making us go look for it. Oh, what the? What's going on? Hmm. Should we help this guy? No, I'm not gonna help him. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, please. Okay, why do I need Pokemon to help you, dude? It's lame. Okay, now you get three choices between between Pokemon that you're gonna pick permanently. These are your starter Pokemon. The grass type Trico, which is the my second favorite. Torchic, the fire type, and Mudkip, the water type. Now, the one I am going to be using is not Mudkip, because uh, my last playthrough of this game I chose a Mudkip, so I just don't want to do that this time. So you get a choice between Trico and Torchic. And I'm going to go with Trico. So I like Trico, it's a cool Pokemon. Alright. Now, your Pokemon, your starter Pokemon starts out with only two moves. One of them is a defense or an attack lowering move, and the other one is a physical attack, where it just affects the enemy. My attack fell. Haha. Isn't this an automatic level up? No, I must be thinking of something else. Okay, we got our first Pokemon, which is a Trico, and I don't like to give nicknames to Pokemon, so no, I don't do that. If you just say no to that, he'll just keep saying that you should go see his daughter, even though you already have. And, yep. I'll stop saying horrible. What's this guy have to say? Okay. I'll just be cutting out every single wild Pokemon battle and this is the Pokemon I want. Which none of these are Pokemon that I want, so we're just gonna go with that. And I'm going to speed up trainer battles, so if you don't like those, I'm sorry. This lady gives you a potion as a free item. And if you try and go out to the west, this guy just says you discover footprints of rare Pokemon and you cannot go through the area until he is done. So really the only place we can go is Route 103 and how have I not run into a wild Pokemon yet? Okay, now talk to her, and you gotta battle her, of course. This is my favorite rival battle music, I just really like it. And your rival always picks the Pokemon that you're, that you're weak against, of course. Now I'm just gonna lower its defense, just for fun. Well, it was probably a stupid move. Oh. oh my gosh, I knew that was a waste of time. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't want the walkthrough or let's play curse to kick in right when I battle. My first battle was stink. <laughs> There we go. And that is an automatic level up for your Pokemon. 
and almost another automatic level up for your Pokemon. Okay, so now you gotta go all the way back to Little Root Town to go and talk to Professor Birch. Because apparently he's got a surprise waiting for you. Why couldn't I move for a second? Now he gives you a Pokedex, which is. Oh, let, let's let him explain it. And then she gives you five Pokeballs. I don't know why it doesn't say five. Which is enough to fill up your entire party right now. But since there's really only zigzagoons and. and stuff. Don't want to do that. And now she gives you running shoes because we all know past generation two how slow you run. I mean walk. The other games used to walk really fast. But now you can't. So these are pretty much a requirement. Okay, let's move on. And you see that guy right there? Why did he move? There were his own footprints. I would feel embarrassed if I did that myself. And in the next part, we will start Route Route 102. In the next part, we're going to fight this guy. Move to the next part. Bye.